factors affecting this sea level rising underground water subsiding scenario elevation of western section of Panay and like the gravitational force of the moon and the earth these are the factors might play on this low-lying area in Iloilo City Philippines flooding last July 15 2022 hello my name is Blair your science teacher in science is cool I'm a part of this governmental department way back several years ago before I changed career and changed my location by country itself. I was a technical staff of Iloilo City Disaster Risk Reduction Management Office when I was still there. I worked there over a decade since 2009 when it was originally named as Crisis Management Office under the Iloilo Coordinating Center from the volunteer work that I have to commission work. I document and stop the event during my stay as the technical staff there. As I remember, we responded to medical emergency to community crisis and natural disaster. It helps me and the office itself gain more knowledge and science behind all this crisis or this natural disaster. But the office was much older than my stay. The office was established in 2003 under Engineer Jose Papa, ICER, the Iloilo City Emergency Responders, as only few staff that runs 24 hours a day and never close their doors, accepting emergency from the actual telephone calls from the landline when landline dominates the communication and also VHF radio communication. It was not perfect, but survived with little budget or sometimes no budget at all. The main mission was to attend indigenous people of Iloilo City and including nearby AOR or the area of responsibility. We learned that Iloilo has several natural source of natural disaster from storm to flooding to sea level rising to ice melting scenario, tsunami and much more. This time I will be focusing on the latest scenario which is flooding due to high tide without any rains. But what is the cause? Let's take into these factors first. We have high tide level which is pretty high at 2.14 meters on July 15, 2022 at 10.55 a.m. It's just show that the water level is at the relative level from the measuring device. But what is the tide level factor? I have the elevation of Iloilo City but not completed as expected given the factor that Panay Island is also moving upwards slowly centimeters due to the Philippine plate is moving upwards from the pressure of the two plates that affects Panay Island and the Philippines itself. This study comes from the Philvox data. As I said, it is not yet complete. I might be right or maybe wrong too. I'm not connected to any political parties as of this time. But for now, I could say and share only details of what I have known. In addition to this, some study also show that Iloilo City will be submerged if the sea level keep rising as they report from 2017, the threat of global climate change. Sea levels are projected to rise nearly half a meter by year 2100 if the earth warms 2 degrees celsius above the pre-industrial level and 84 centimeters in a 3 to 4 degrees celsius all over the world that's according to climate change commissioner rachel herrera said way back in 2017 in addition to this climate temperature has increased by 1 degree celsius above the pre-industrial level and are on track to rise another 2 or 3 degrees by year 2100 if the Paris Treaty goals of copying warming at 1.5 to 
to 2 degrees Celsius is to be meant, emission of warming gases must drop 50% by year 2030 and to net zero by year 2050. IPCC included in a report released in 2018. So as we have this various data, we could say that for now, flooding in Iloilo City, Philippines is due to high tide, even the Philippine plate is also rising, but cannot cope with the rapid acceleration of the sea level rising. For now, we could only document and gather more data, but at the same time, we should be prepared for this scenario before our time runs out by year 2100. We could build dikes and install more water pumps if this scenario happens again. We could also move into a new business district and slowly migrate before the year 2100. We could also adapt by converting roads to canal for boats to pass by, water taxi and other types of water vehicles. Just like in Venice did, instead of fighting the sea level, they adapt to it. Many creative ways of mitigating this scenario. This will depend on the people of each cities that will be affected by the sea level rising by year 2100. Some may see as a tourist opportunity. Some might be more prosperous in this scenario. It's up to the people, including their leaders. That's it for now for our Science is Cool. I'm Blair, your science teacher. Catch another episode next time as we ponder and continue the search for knowledge. And remember that science means knowing because science is cool. Ciao!